Hello and welcome to Medis Tech Circle. So finally I'm back with another video or a new video. I know it has been a while since my last one, but finally I'm back and that's what counts. So in today's video, I want to talk about One UI 2.1. I got this update like I think maybe three or four weeks ago and it has been great. Um, maybe some of you already know, we have now um, some Samsung Ga Galaxy S20 features, which Samsung implemented now w with this update to the Note 10 and S10 series. Um, I would talk with you about everything new. So I made, made a script with really basically everything that has changed. But that video would be way, way too long. So I will like do this in kind of chapters you know i will talk about basically everything which has changed also small details but in separate videos so um today i just want to talk about what has changed when you install this update so what i have noticed are that the animations are really improved they are now more refined and smoother so when you open up the phone dialer for example and you swipe up you can see that the animation is now way smoother than before. So don't get me wrong, with One UI 2, they really did a good job to deliver smooth animations and it was really smooth, but now it's just better, you know what I mean? So not that it was worse or that it was bad before, but now it's just, yeah, it just feels refined. That's it, yes? So that's something I have noticed. Also, when you are using the gestures with the small little hint here is that the bar is now moving whenever you swipe up this bar is moving before it did nothing but now it's moving also when you are swiping between different apps you can see maybe that yeah this bar is just moving a little bit to the side so this is cool in my opinion this gives you a little bit of feedback when you are doing the gesture. Also what I have noticed is that the arrow, um, the arrow on the side whenever you swipe back is now a little bit smaller. So before it was bigger than what we have now. This is also welcome change in my opinion. And um, yeah, let's talk about other things that have changed. Now for example, um, you have more screen zoom settings. So when you go into display and screen zoom, we have now different options. So before we had this option here, we had three options. Yes. So this one, this in the middle and the one on the right. So they basically added these two between the outer options. And this is cool because now you have more uh, variations. So now you can choose diff yeah, between different screen zooms. And the next thing I want to talk about is when you are using the navigation bar. So let's switch to navigation button. No, first of all, let's set it to the default screen zoom. So this is the default screen zoom. Maybe you noticed that the, um, the status icons are now, or they got smaller. And um, this is something I don't know why, why that they, the status icon get smaller when you select a bigger screen zoom but okay we'll take that but what I want to show you is now the navigation bar can get thinner so in height in the height you know it gets thinner so um, let's see when we now go to screen zoom and I took the one I had before the smaller one you will notice that the navigation bar really gets smaller you see so, okay, maybe on camera it doesn't seem to be a big change, but if you are someone who uses the navigation bar instead of the gestures, this could be a welcome change. So the navigation bar now takes less, um, yeah, just lays less screen real estate. It's, it's not that good as you are using the gestures, you know, but still it's getting smaller and this is cool. Okay, so I was just switch back to the gestures. And the next thing um, they updated is that when we go into the Wi-Fi settings, you can see that this page got also um, overhauled design. So now you can see here your current network, the, the icon here 
for um, scanning a QR code to connect to a to a yeah, Wi-Fi um, station is now also changed. And also under Bluetooth, they changed some things in the UI. For example, when you go to settings, you see now here a big icon of your device connected. So this is also really cool. And um, yeah, also basically we can now tag things. So I will do a separate video, but you can make hashtags in videos. So if I do a new node, I can type hashtag hello guys. And then I can hashtag it, oops, if I tap here. And now it's hashtag. And now when I search for this hashtag, hello guys, for example, or um, I just see here all my hashtags and I tap this, you will see all your results you have hashtagged. So I will do a separate video about this um, in the next days. But yeah, basically, One UI 2.1 is really smart, uh, not smart, it's fast, it's smooth, refined, so your experience with your S10, No 10 will just be better because yeah, it feels refreshing to, to get some new features and also when everything is running smooth. But there are some like bugs or some things that are not well optimized yet, I think. So sometimes things are freezing up and um, that's annoying in my opinion, of course, because yeah, that shouldn't happen with such a flagship phone. But um, as I've read a couple of minutes before I made this video, um, they, they are rolling out a small yeah, update for the European version. So in Italy, it's currently rolled out. Nothing yet in Germany, I can check, but there was nothing a few minutes ago. No, nothing there. But uh, maybe they will improve these small freezes and um, yeah, and hiccups here and there. So this phone will be blazing fast. So uh, yeah, all in all, One UI 2.1 is a really good update. And um, check for yourself if you got it. And let me know if you have any questions about this update. So as you have seen on my script, I have a lot of things that are new, but I will yeah, split this in multiple videos so you don't have to watch a 20 minutes long video. All right, so have a great day, stay, stay healthy, stay at home and see you soon, bye. Let it go, take my body go, take our bodies high.